Over to the Capitol, where the first week of the 2022 legislative session is in the books and things are already heating up under the dome. Capitol reporter Storm Jones has a look back at the week. Yeah, the session began Monday with the governor's state of the state address, and then it was off to the races. Some of his ideas were quickly embraced, while others put on ice. Pro Tem Treat filed a bill called the Oklahoma Empowerment Act. It makes sure that money follows the student, and it would make us a national leader in school choice. But by Thursday, the Republican Speaker of the House said the bill would be dead on arrival. I don't plan to, I don't plan to hear that bill this year, I've, and I've communicated that. I'm proposing to eliminate the grocery tax. That proposal, which has been pushed by Democrats for years, has received a more warm reception, passing out of committee Wednesday 9 to 0. Whatever the reason that they've decide to, decided to jump on board with this, We'll take it. Democrats express concern over what they call extreme bills being authored by some of their Republican colleagues. Bills allowing parents to request the removal of library books, making over-the-counter COVID-19 remedies more available, dictating which bathrooms a transgender person could use, and a bill supporting January 6th Capitol rioters, all still live proposals that could be considered this session. However, a bill creating a state militia failed four to six on Thursday. Bill after bill after bill, it's just you know, a press release with a bill number. At the state capitol, I'm Oklahoma's own Storm Jones.